All of these people are looking at me thinking that I am something, attributing the status to me, you know, thinking in their mind that I am superhuman, or thinking in their mind that I'm angelic, or thinking that I'm better than them. And the question comes, well, what happens when the people see something of me, but when I look at myself in the mirror, I see someone completely different? What happens when the person that people see is not who I actually believe that I am? And how do we reconcile between that? So I, I hope that this is a struggle that I'm not the only one facing. Does anyone kind of feel me on this? All right, alhamdulillah, that's good. Uh, I actually have a story that kind of just goes along with this. One of my halqa students actually came up to me the other day. Actually, this was a couple months ago. And she was like, so Shireen, like when you go home, like do you just eat dates and drink zamzam? And I was like, no, homegirl, I eat cereal in the morning and I eat burgers for lunch and I eat koshari for dinner. You know, I'm normal. Um, you know, just because I'm at the masjid doesn't mean that I eat something different or I breathe a different type of oxygen than you do. And unfortunately, you know, in, when we work in these types of organizations or in our masjid, people start to look at you and think that you truly are not human. Or that there's, you know, something superhuman about you. What do we do when we feel like the person in the mirror is different than the person that everyone else sees? So subhanAllah, you know, something that we have to do is first try to understand whether those people are two different people. Whether the person that you see in the mirror is truly different than the person that your community sees. Or whether you're just being too harsh on yourself and you truly are amazing. Or whether you're thinking of yourself too highly and you really should start to reconsider some of the things you've done. And so I kind of came up with a litmus test as to what you can ask yourself to try to understand whether those two people are really two people or if they're one. And the first question that you can ask yourself is, and I want you guys to think about this, if I were to go up to someone in your community whom you work with, or if I were to go up to someone you know, on your shura in the MSA, or someone in your masjid that you work with, or someone that you've mentored in a halqa, or someone that you work with at work, you know, your co-resident or whatever it may be, and I were to ask them, you know, tell me about Shireen. Like, what is Shireen like? What does Shireen, when you're with Shireen, how do you feel? When these people are with you, how do they feel when you're around them? And think of that answer. If I were to go up to someone at work or someone that you work with, what would they describe you as? Okay, think about that in your mind. Now, if I were to go and ask your sibling at home, or ask your mother, or ask your father, or ask your brother, what is Shireen like to you? How do you feel when Shireen is around you? How does Shireen make you feel? Do you get a different answer? Is it that the people outside think something of you and when you treat them, you treat them a certain way, yet you go home and you treat the people at home differently? And if you find that those two answers are different, then know that there is a problem. But I'm sure many of us can look within ourselves and say, you know what, those two answers are different. The person that I am on the outside is different than the one I am at home. The person that the community sees of me is different than the one that my mother sees of me. You know, and the Prophet ﷺ told us, he said, خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ وَأَنَا خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ He said that the best among you are the best to your family and I am the best to my family.